however you are handling this quarantine is okay. Whatever it is that you're doing to make it through is okay. Hey my friends, I wasn't really planning on uploading a video today, but throughout this afternoon, all I could think about was you, and I just wanted to say something really quick, I guess. I always say really quick and it turns into like a 15 minute video. But I um, am taking tomorrow off work because Memorial Day is on Monday and I just wanted to have that Friday and that Monday off and have that extended long weekend just to relax and rest and be with my family because since being in quarantine my husband and I have worked non-stop and it has consumed every ounce of our life even though we have children they are definitely not getting the best of us so what I wanted to just say quickly to you is that however you are handling this quarantine is okay Whatever it is that you're doing to make it through is okay. And, you know, I was in this really good workout routine. I, my food was prepped and ready and I was building muscle and then I was just transitioning into um, a cutting phase because we were going to get ready to go to the beach in June. But everything just got thrown off once we went into quarantine. I think I stuck to my routine maybe for two or three weeks and then it just went out the door. And so if you're experiencing anything like myself, it, it's easy for guilt to seep in and guilt can come in and just make you feel like you're losing all the traction that you had or, you know, I have been incredibly discouraged because I feel like I built up all this muscle and then I was ready to reveal it, but I had to go through my cutting phase in order to reveal it. And um, I haven't been lifting nearly as much. I'm definitely not cutting, that's for sure. And I just can see my body composition changing. I had goals and plans and I'm, I'm falling from, from what the original plan was. And I just talked to myself and was like, all right, hey, you know what, that's enough. Sometimes you have to restructure what those plans are according to where you're at in your life. So like my uncle, my uncle has a YouTube channel about fitness over 50. And one of the things that I was really inspired about with his channel is that he was talking about he is not going to have these ripped abs and this like lean, lean body because he's 50 years old. He works 50 hours a week and he travels all the time when he's not in lockdown and quarantine. So, um, but his... <laughs> I'm actually sitting outside. This is, if you watch my channel, you know that almost in every video I have this moment of silence and disbelief of what's going on on the street. That's the street. I'm sitting on my porch and that's the street that is ridiculous. So, uh, whatever I was saying. Oh, is that he came to this realization that he's not going to have this certain body style. But his what he wants to do is he wants to continue to keep the muscle that he has and he wants to um, be flexible and not lose the mobility that he has and so he created his channel around his own circumstances and what is realistic to him and that inspired me to know you know what my workout doesn't look the way it did but I can still work out my um, cardio didn't look the way it doesn't look the way it did but I can still make sure that I'm moving and so in quarantine whatever your plan was prior if you're sticking to it that's incredible and I'm so proud of you but if you have fallen off of that or you're having a little more drinks than you normally would eating a little more food than you normally would here's what I would say that has helped me tremendously just keep moving whatever you do don't stop moving keep moving whether that's a walk or maybe between Zoom meetings you do some push-ups or I don't know what that looks like for you. I have created a workout plan where I used to have like this everyday workout plan. I just created like one sheet of workouts and at the top it says week of and then it's got all these basic um, um, muscle group workouts. And I'm not on a plan where I'm doing those certain workouts every day or every other day. It's just throughout the week I want to see that I've at least done some of those workouts so that I know I'm not losing the the muscle that I have built up. I'm probably I'm definitely lo I've lost a lot of muscle, but I don't want to have to start all over. And so for me, that's been my new goal. If you are struggling with your mental health, 
don't let yourself struggle for too long. Meaning just let somebody in. We've had a couple of people at work that's shut down and maybe we're thinking about leaving or switching departments. And once we just had a little intervention meeting with them, we realized that they are just so overwhelmed in their personal life. And they feel like if they could just do something to change the atmosphere at work, it would make them feel like they have some sort of sense of control. But both people that we've had that happen with at work have been able to get back on track and thank us because they just wanted to know that somebody cared and, and was listening to them. They just needed somebody to come in. And sometimes we don't know how to ask for the help that we need. And so when people are like, what do you need? What do you need? We, I, I don't know. So, you know, you just have to jump in there. <laughs> this sway. Say hello. <laughs> that was my son's way making his own little debut <laughs> but anyway it, it we don't often know what we need and so we don't know that we need someone to reach in. We don't know that we need someone to check on us. When people say, what do you need? You, you don't always know to do that. But what I can advise you is that if you are stuck in your own head and me, me, me mode, here's what I would advise you to do as well. I would advise you to reach out to someone else and check on them. I just ordered these cards from Amazon that are just these little note cards. And uh, my plan is I'm just gonna write little notes to people in, in my friendships and inside of my company. And I'm just gonna mail them to their houses unexpectedly with a note from me so that they could just know that I'm thinking about them. Because sometimes we need to, we need to reach into other people's lives. If you are struggling with depression right now, a lot of times that is because you are so me inwardly focused and that's hard and I know I've been there and done that. You guys know about my book, Pressing Forward, where I overcame anxiety and depression. I'll link that below if you're interested in hearing my story. But I, I get depression. I lived there for a really long time. But what I did learn from that experience and overcoming that was that if I found a way to serve somebody else, even though it was painful sometimes and you just don't feel like it because you just want to ball up in a corner and go to sleep, but if I focused on serving other people, serving someone else with whatever gifts that I have or whatever I thought to do for somebody else, it starts to elevate you up out of that hole. So I would just suggest that you make sure you're checking in on your friends. If you're sitting there like, oh, nobody cares about me and nobody's wondering about me or helping me out, that mindset is going to ruin you. Fuck that mindset. Go check on your friends. See how you could be of service to them in this time. So I just was thinking about you all. Wanted to shoot over a quick video that's not necessarily on topic with everything I always talk about. But I guess I do talk about a lot of mental health stuff. And I just am kind of random anyway, you guys know. Mostly talk about uh, skin flushing. But, but anyway, just checking on you all. Wanted to see how you were doing and let you know that I'm doing well. We're hanging in here. We're doing the best we can. We're giving it the best that we can right now. And you know what? that is enough because you are enough. Hey, if you like this video or you've checked out my channel before and you like some of the stuff that's going on here, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would, please subscribe to the channel because it lets the algorithm know that we're here and we're here with this type of information to help uplift people and let them know they're not alone and let them know they're not the only one going through what they're going through. So if you want to continue to support the community, be sure to subscribe and I'll check you out too. M no, probably not tomorrow because to I'm on P I'm on PTO, paid time off. But I don't know. Maybe I will. You never know where I'm gonna be. I don't even know where I'm gonna be because I fly by the seat of my pants. I'm not structured. I'm not planned out. But it works. It works for some of us. It works. <laughs> Bye, guys.